Welcome to the Find Freedom in the Cloud Your Way series brought to you by Intuit Academy. Today's webinar is about using QuickBooks Online. Hello everyone and thank you for joining me today. My name is Risa McKenzie and I am a degreed accountant and the owner of Ability Books Bookkeeping in Lansing, Michigan. I am an advanced certified pro advisor and member of the Intuit Trainer Writer Network. You can download a PDF handout of today's presentation by going to intuitacademy.com forward slash materials. Again, that's intuitacademy.com forward slash materials. Here's our agenda for this presentation. I want to make sure that you're able to identify the different versions of QuickBooks Online so that you can determine which version would be right for your clients. You will be able to understand how to work with your QuickBooks Online clients by using QuickBooks Online Accountant. I also want you to be able to navigate and get around in the new QuickBooks Online. I will do a high-level overview of where to find things in the new version. There is another webinar in this series that looks at the new QuickBooks Online more in depth. And finally, I'll show you the steps to take to convert a desktop file to a QuickBooks Online file. Choosing the right version of QuickBooks Online. The starter level is called Simple Start. The base price for Simple Start is currently $12.95 per month. This includes one user and up to two accountant users. Simple Start is the ideal version for a new business that has really simple bookkeeping needs. You can create unlimited customers, estimates, and invoices with Simple Start. Other online software will limit the number of invoices you can create per month, but you will not have that limitation with QuickBooks Online. You can also track and record your expenses with Simple Start. However, you cannot track bills that are due in the future because there is no accounts payable in this edition. Simple Start includes over 20 built-in reports to help your clients get information about their business. QuickBooks Online Essentials Edition is the next option. This is for clients who are up and running and need additional features. The base price for Essentials is $26.95 per month and that includes up to three users plus two accountant users. There is no charge for the accountant users in any edition. In addition to all the features of Simple Start, you can also track accounts payable with the Essentials Edition. You can automate invoicing for unbilled charges. As long as charges have been entered into Essentials using the Delayed Charges option, you can have QuickBooks Online automatically create and send out the invoice on a schedule of your choosing. In addition to invoice automation, recurring transactions is another great feature of the Essentials Edition. You can set invoices and expenses to post on a recurring schedule. Essentials includes over double the number of built-in reports that Simple Start has. The most fully featured edition is QuickBooks Online Plus. The base monthly fee is $39.95 and it allows for five users plus the two accountant users. Plus edition can be scaled up to 20 users, but any over five would be an additional fee. Plus is really the best value. I always find that clients who start with essentials quickly realize that they want or need the features in the Plus edition. This edition also has unlimited time tracking and report view only users. These types of users see a special version of the file that does not allow them to access anything other than time entry screens or report screens. Also, I'm saying that these are the base monthly prices because there are various ways to get a discount. Pro advisors can pass their discount onto the client subscription, and you can also get a discount if you skip the 30-day free trial when you sign up. This makes QuickBooks Online Plus a really affordable option for most businesses. Payrolls available for all editions for an additional monthly fee. That fee is approximately $30 a month right now. You can use purchase orders and track inventory with the Plus edition. 
QuickBooks Online uses the first in, first out method of inventory valuation. You are able to track profitability by two additional categories in PLUS by assigning a class and or location to transactions. You can only assign one location per transaction, but you can have multiple classes per transaction. Plus Edition allows you to create budgets to plan for income and expense. The budgeting feature has more options than are found in the desktop versions of QuickBooks. You can create multiple budgets per year, location, class, or even customer. 1099 miscellaneous tracking and reporting is only found in the Plus Edition. You can track expenses by customer and mark them as billable to the customer in this edition. There are not as many built-in job costing reports in QuickBooks Online, but you can create them. Also, please note that Online Plus can do some light job costing, but it does not allow you to automatically do labor costing at this time. And these are only a few of the features of the additions. There's a lot more that it can do, but we're just highlighting the differences between the three versions. Now that we've covered the different flavors of QuickBooks Online, I want to talk about how you can support clients who are using it. If you don't have any clients using it, this is still valuable information. There has been a definite increase in the number of small businesses who are using the online edition. I participate in the live community forum where people can ask questions about QuickBooks. I have seen an explosion in the number of questions about the online editions. Now is the perfect time to invest in learning the program so you can be someone who is proficient in using it and available to help these small businesses. One of the highlights of using QuickBooks Online is the ability to collaborate with clients in real time. There is no need to worry about how to share access to the file. You have your clients invite you as one of the two accountant type users, and then you will have easy access to them in your QuickBooks Online accountant client list. Let's take a look at how your clients would do this. So this is QuickBooks Online Accountant, and the first thing we're going to do is go up to this gear icon, and we're going to click Manage Users. And then after the Manage User screen appears, they would simply click the Invite Accountant button that's near the bottom of the screen. Then they're going to get a pop-up uh, mini interview. And this is where they put in the accountant's email address. And then you can add the first and last name if you want to. Click Next, and then their part is done. If you have existing clients on QuickBooks Online, you may be using one of their regular user licenses to access the file. You should have the client delete you as the regular user, and then invite you as one of the accountant users so that you can use QuickBooks Online Accountant to access their file. After the invitation is sent, you will receive an email. Click the link in the email to accept the invitation. If you have any problems accepting the invite, make sure to log out of QuickBooks Online first, clear out your browser's cache before clicking on the link. Occasionally the link can go bad, so you may have to have the client click the resend invitation button if you're having problems accepting the invitation. This is the screen you'll see after you click the link. This is the QuickBooks Online Accountant sign-in page. Sign in with your existing Intuit sign-on or create a new account if you don't have one. You may need to allow employees access to work on your client's files. At this time, there's not a firm login option, so consider using a generic firm email or create a special email that you use just for this purpose. By signing in here, you are signing up for QuickBooks Online Accountant. It's that easy. Now you can easily access all of your QuickBooks Online client files from one list. The company listed first that we have here um, circled in red is called My Company, and it's a QuickBooks Online Plus file that is free for you to use. You can use it for your own company or upload a sample company to it and use as a demo file for clients. To access your client's file, simply click on their company name in the list to launch it. In addition to the client list, QuickBooks Online Accountant has some special tools that are only available if you access the file in this manner. 
think of it as a special portal or doorway into your client's file. Aside from the special tools, the functionality is still going to be limited to the client's subscription level. QuickBooks Online Accountant is free for you to use to support all of your QuickBooks Online clients. Now let's look at how you can get around in the new QuickBooks Online. There are three main navigation areas in QuickBooks Online. The left side navigation menu, the tools and settings button, and the quick create button. In addition to these navigation options, you will also use the browser navigation, like the back and forward history buttons, usually found in the upper left corner of the browser window. The left side navigation menu is where you can access the various centers and transaction lists. It's designed to optimize space, as most monitors are now wider than they are tall. The navigation here has been streamlined, so there are fewer clicks needed to access the information you need. As you can see, there are really only two options here that have an additional level, and that is the Transactions menu and the Taxes menu. The Tools menu, represented by the gear icon in the upper right of the screen, is where you access the QuickBooks Online Accountant tools, as well as company preferences and lists, including the chart of accounts, products and service items, and recurring transaction lists. Make sure to thoroughly review all the preferences in company settings. This is where you can turn on features and customize the program. You will also access the Reconcile, Budgeting, and Activity Log tools from this menu, in addition to being able to manage the account and users. The Quick Create button is the X symbol in the middle. This navigation button is present on all screens in QuickBooks Online. It's a really fast way to be able to create various transactions. It is also where you go to create a bank deposit, record a transfer, create a journal entry, or to run statements. The other options on this Quick Create bar is the Find option, which is the magnifying glass on the left, and the Recent Transactions list, which is the clock symbol on the right. So from these three navigation options we just covered, the left side menu, the Tools menu, and the Quick Create bar, you should be able to locate all features of QuickBooks Online. The final topic of today's presentation is how to convert a QuickBooks desktop file to a QuickBooks Online file. The steps to convert a file are really simple. However, it's your job as the advisor to make sure you understand how the data is going to come over from desktop. You should also understand that desktop and online are totally different programs. They look and function differently. You should treat a conversion from QuickBooks Desktop to QuickBooks Online just as you would a conversion to a completely new accounting system. At the end of this webinar, I will tell you some places you can go to learn more about what will convert to online and what will not. But for now, let's focus on the actual process of getting the data into QuickBooks Online. All supported versions of QuickBooks Desktop on the current release have an option to export the company file to QuickBooks Online. From within Desktop, go to the Company menu, and then select Export Company File to QuickBooks Online that you'll find at the very bottom. This is the first screen that you will see after you select the Export option. This is basically reassuring you that nothing will happen to the desktop file. It will remain intact and available for you to use. The next screen will let you know if there are any features being used in the desktop file that are not supported in the online version. This is the logon screen. Log on using your existing login credentials. After you log in, you will see a list of files that you have been invited to. If the client has already created the company file subscription and invited you, you will be able to import the file to that company here. If they do not have a file subscription, you can create one from this screen as well by selecting the Create a New Company option. If you choose to create a new file, it will be the essential edition and it will have a 30-day free trial. Remember, it's really easy to upgrade to Plus if that's the version that you prefer. The actual data conversion can take anywhere from 5-15 minutes to an hour. 
you will receive an email when it's done. Then you need to do your due diligence, running reports, and making sure that all the data converted. Here's where you can get some additional information. The first is a link to a very important article that will tell you more about the details of what converts from desktop and how it converts. So make sure to bookmark this link and read it carefully. Now it is a little outdated. Um, it hasn't been updated for the very newest version of QuickBooks at this point in time. So it will say things like multiple sales tax rates are not supported, but they are supported now. You can create multiple sales tax rates. But other than that, most of the information in this article is still very relevant. Remember what I said, you should create a conversion from desktop to online just like you would a conversion to a completely new accounting system. And these other two links here are uh, links to a couple of short videos about converting and creating a new subscription. So we're almost finished and I want to take this time to talk about some steps you can take to jumpstart your journey to working smarter, not harder, in the cloud. The first thing you should do is sign up for the Cloud ProAdvisor program. If you are already a member of the ProAdvisor program, then you do not need to sign up for this program, as you are already getting all of these benefits as part of the regular ProAdvisor program. If you are not a member of the ProAdvisor program, then you do not want to miss out on this opportunity. The Cloud ProAdvisor program is a free program for accounting professionals who are ready to explore working in the cloud with QuickBooks Online. Because it's free, you really have nothing to lose and just a lot to gain. You will have access to training for the new QuickBooks Online, as well as access to marketing tools and support. If you pass the certification exam, you will have the opportunity to create a profile and be listed in the Find a Pro Advisor referral database, and those people looking to find professional help with QuickBooks Online will be able to find you. Joining this program is a great first step. You can get access to QuickBooks Online Accountant when you join either ProAdvisor program, so go to the website and sign in and start getting familiar with the new QuickBooks Online. So again, even if you haven't signed up for the P Cloud ProAdvisor program yet, you can just go to qboa.intuit.com, create an account if you don't have one, or if you do have Intuit sign on, use that, and then you will have access to the QuickBooks Online Accountant. But if you want the training, the certification, all that, that's where you need to sign up for the Cloud ProAdvisor program. So I encourage you to do that today if you have time and get started uh, familiarizing yourself with the software. And you should be thinking about which clients would be a good candidate for you to convert to QuickBooks Online in the next 60 to 90 days. Finally, make sure to visit IntuitAcademy.com for access to more free training. There are several other webinars in this series, so make sure you don't miss those. And then there's also some additional topics that might interest you. So that brings us to the end of this presentation. I hope that you can now identify the different versions of QuickBooks Online, understand how to use QuickBooks Online Accountant, feel comfortable navigating the new QuickBooks Online, and that you understand the desktop to online conversion process. So thank you for participating, and let's just recap the next steps. One, make sure you join the Cloud Pro Advisor program. Two, sign in a QuickBooks Online Accountant. Three, take the QuickBooks Online Certification Training and Exam. Four, create a profile for your Find a Pro Advisor listing. Five, Go to IntuitAcademy.com for additional training opportunities. And six, convert a client to QuickBooks Online within six months and start working smarter, not harder. Thank you and good luck on your journey to the cloud.